This is a tense game because this is a BO1. And this is a BO1 between J Storm and Navi. He will steal the bounty. Rinus Rev is forced out to get the shrine, but they're going to glimpse him back. The surge is now out. Can they get the body blocks onto Rev? Where is the damage? There you go. Soniko gets first blood. He had a terrible start, but finally, at all. And he's just going to feed, but. I'm gonna have to wait and see. They do have a Medusa, so in a way, I'm glad that they're just going to try and create space for Magical as this life to the missing right here. They will find the kill onto Darks here as the cast bounces farm will actually get here. He's doing a lot of damage to fear the spike her pieces there. The cast bounces are going to be very minor as they do get a kinetic foot onto March with the next overpower they will be able to disengage with march but they do have vision because of the thunder strike as soon as glimpses the darks here back looks like crystallize was able to find a kill uh, i think this is a very easy kill for navi they just have to land their spells correctly they will come forward the smoke does break as brio is trying to sidestep that split earth can they actually find brio here the glimpse is available the cask is going to be actually pretty decent and they're not going to get the split earth somehow that shadow fin is able to disengage they're not going to get their fourth kill onto brio at least not now. Uh, Sven did die bottom. Uh, only thing that they can try to do is brute force this mid tower, which they are doing right now. Another TP. This time it's from Crystallize. He has those drops. They're gonna glimpse the Briar Shadow Pin back, but he's so fast that it doesn't matter. And uh, oh, that is a. That is like, Ike, so many heroes rotating here. They will be able to get the deny. Maybe not. Briar wants to say otherwise, as they are going to get the tower there. He's relatively close to the true side range. Let's see if you can get that Impale. He is gonna get it. There you go. One race, two races, easy kill. And there you go, the ancient stack we talked about. As the Darkster shows up here with an Ogre Magi, the Stormhammer flies out. This man will get the bounty as they do get that death one with the Melodic and the open moves. This man is gonna be slowed down as Magic is forced to stone gaze for this. This is not a great fight for uh, Navi at all. The glimpse though will be used. Navi struggled a lot to do damage to towers here in the are grouping up with so many TPs. There's a Witch Doctor here, there's a Darks here running, and there's already the TP from the Nyx Assassin. They're gonna try and commit that eating, but there's a lot of creeps around, and it looks like they really want to defend this. They will find a tower top, and they might be able all the evening fast the life stealer as they do TP the Shadow Fiend. They will get a good Blink Dagger with Blissey here. He has a Ghost Trap, but they're not doing that much damage finally. With the Enrage, looks like here might die. No, Crystallize is forced out as they do not lose anyone. Blissey, very low HP, and with that open wound, we will find that kill too. Trying to disengage, but he's all also, a casualty here. So two heroes dead on the side of Navi. They don't find the tower. While well, J-Storm also got the top tier two. It's gonna be placed down. March knows that there's a ward here. They're gonna be able to take it out. Finally, uh, Split Earth gets committed. Doesn't really hit on anyone. They're gonna get a God Storm onto Ryo with the Kinetic Food and the Static Storm. There's no way he can get out. And with the BKB Crystallize just shreds the Darks here since he doesn't have that wall. Actually, he did have it, but it was just too much damage at the same time. Finally, they find the Witch Doctor and it is time for Navi to Roche. So for J-Storm, right? They were getting a lot of kills, a lot of things done, but unfortunately they were just uh, struggling to force meaningful objectives like these tier 2 towers like Roshan and this means that, no, maybe not, this means that J Star will try and contest the spike their face is all to complete. This split earth is going to connect as the Ursa Comissian Rage looks like fear will be taken out. Oh no, he actually does walk it off here as they will uh, focus their efforts onto the Roshan pit. Uh, finally, Old Moody tries to get inside the Roshan pit but they will get the Aegis onto Magical but it looks like it's going to fall anyways. There you go, that is a that Medusa, the Aegis is already gone. J Storm doing a pretty good job at stopping Navi here. And the Stone Gaze was already committed. Do they have a four step for Magical? He's trying to get out, but he's going to be taken down. So that is a kill for Bryo as they do keep chasing this two Lashrak. He does have a TP here. Can he split Earth? Get out. He's going to be fine the smoke so he's probably gonna try and bait something here as he does find march looks like the open wounds was committed somewhere else i don't know what's happening they're gonna drop the meme hammer can they hit oh it's on to two the static storm was deployed so they will lose the span as crystallized pops the enrage and the beacon he's gonna try and get on top of that next and that is a kill but that is only a support he already lost both the span and the disruptor they're trying to get out looks like the two less tracks we get open wounded as well as boo keeps on chasing for more so that is a three for one this is another smoking from navi probably their last one as they will find Ruru. Oh, there you go. That's the Stormhammer. He was not able to disengage. And with the split up, that is a dead, dead move. Oh, man. He was not expecting it. It was not a, It was not the closest range possible. But I guess he was just doing something else. Maybe he was talking with his teammates or... 
maybe he was buying an item and that really hurts him for an arcane build since he did go for this meme hammer the dark seer has crimson guard ready going for a side of ice as they do find our boy ursa here looks like he was not able to enrage finally goes for it but it is not enough he will die had time to pop the magic one but never used the spell and that is a dead crystal eyes are gonna get a good vacuum with the center stop as magic was now forced to pop his bkb for this they will get a good splitter on to march with the static storm is it enough damage with the surge it might not be and even with the glimpse not only they find a way to save marsh they're going to lose the poor sonico oh no they even commit the stone gaze they're spending so many resources here j star might be able to find this tower they do have ghost available but here zoning this man like he's a support they don't want to buy back crystallize but they might be forced to do so they will finally get in Ireland onto the last track as the meme hammer is actually useless here it could have been more useful to find a melee barracks you will get a good splitter onto the life stealer the split earth does not connect onto the spike her pieces magic was trying to mitigate the damage but he will find the first melee barracks j storm with a with a clutch pick up onto that Ursa will be able to find it. Can he disengage with no problem? To glyph this in the wraparound from J-Storm. It is actually perfectly executed here. I'm not sure if Navi knows about this. They will get a good scan. The Dire knows. But there you go. With the Surge and the Rage, they're going to obliterate Sonico and they're going to get a Storm Hammer onto Shadow Queen. A lot of damage with the BKB, but they will not hit the Splitter of BKB onto Ryo with that Requiem of Souls. Oh no, he actually gets stopped by the Stone Gaze. It looks like Crystal is trying to get on top of him. He doesn't get a bash. In fact, he doesn't have a basher. Magical doesn't have any mana. Then, therefore, it actually zoning Magical out. Can they find a shadow pin? They will, but they will also lose the Medusa in the process. Bliss is trying to get out. He's going to be taken down. Crystallize will be able to TP out, though. So they th they trade three heroes for two. That's actually not a terrible fight for Navi. Uh, they do it relatively fast, but not that fast. There's no medallion or minus armor fear. They're gonna get that. Oh, the pale nice player though connects all to fear. He didn't have the spike hair pace another chasing Blitz even with the Warcry. He is just a freaking creep when they're fighting Mu and he will die. So this is two dead heroes on the side of Navi. The Lishrek does have buyback but he doesn't have any items but the Aetherlands and they even commit nice Aetherlands split earth as they do surge our boy life to their hero. We'll get the Warcry on to Chu and even oh, okay looks like Mu will finally give up. He is oh but they're gonna glimpse him back. Do they have a way? Oh he fast the life stealer. Uh, the Shadow Fiend. Very nice play by Mu there as they do pop the Crimson Guard and once again Mu wants to find out support they will get the Storm Hammer onto him look at that back with the worst of as they do get a good Stone Gaze they're gonna stun the Shadow Fiend he was not able to do much as they find the Kill the Darks here but the Sonico the uh, the Sonico Disruptor is already dead. They keep on chasing the Lifesteader. Will find two. That's double kill for Mu as they do group up for the tower here. They are trying their best. And it looks like it is time for Navi to defend once again. They are looking for that spike here. Pace, they will get Impale Blitzy with the stun and a Crystallize. They're gonna jump forward with the Enrage. They will find the Q on him as Crystallize is forced out. So much damage because of the Maledict and the Death Ward. He's trying to turn it around. He will buy back as they do try to disengage on the side of G Storm. Very good glimpse with the Splitter. They might be able to find move before the Cheese. And they actually do that as they chase March. Looks like he will also die. The Cheese was already consumed, by the way. And uh, is this? Oh, Shadowfin will be able to blink out the poor witch doctor, though. Will be chased down. The Maledict is here, and that's gonna be a dead march. Now, Dire will commit a scan. They know that there's a Dark Seer here. He's trying to split push the wave with his Seder. Can he TP out Crystallize? He's looking. Can he get the bash? He gets a first hit bash. And for Ram, he is gonna be forced out with the Crimson Guard, but they have the glimpse. He's gonna go back to Thunder Strike, keep Invasion. The Storm Hammer is there. And even with the wall, Navi somehow is actually coming back into this game. Uh, if we check the. Oh no, Magic is gonna get a lot of damage. There you go. They're gonna get the pale with the Meme Hammer Medusa. Can she dodge? No, she's not gonna be able to BKB as they keep on fighting fear on very low blitz. He does jump up finally the BKB onto Magical. He didn't take that much damage, even though they hit the Impale as well as that Meme Hammer here. They will disengage with Forab as our boy March will be split up. They will get Crystallized to do damage to Bio here, but he's taking so much damage finally. The rage is gonna be popped up and he's going to disengage a lot of damage here. Chu will get stunned by the Spike Carapace and he's also going to call two heroes down on Saturday. Navi, they're gonna buy back the Witch Doctor as they do try to fight, but there's no shrines for that TP as Magical finds another kill, double kill, but he has absolutely no mana. He goes back to full mana because of the Mystics. They can he get out of the Meme Hammer? No! He's all Manta dodging! He's going to get a triple kill, but he does get taken down. The Manta dodge of the Meme Hammer was perfect, but even still, Navi was not able to take this fight.
I mean, in this scenario, I think it would be better for them to buy back, right? Because if you have, if you're gonna have to buy back anyways, look at this. They're already hitting your. I mean, they're gonna have to buy back. There's absolutely no way. The buyback from Magical finally gets committed. They do have Ice Armor on the last turn as well. The AOE surge just making them look like freaking crackheads as Magical deals as much damage as possible. We're gonna get. The <laughs> Maledict onto the Medusa here, zoning the Witch Doctor out. Finally, the Mystic Saint is gonna be there with the wall. A lot of damage. BKB onto Magical. He has that level 25 talent. He has a lot of mana. They're gonna disengage with the Glimmer Cape as they try to stop moving. He's way too tanky. Blitz with the Storm Hammer. It's going to hit onto two with the Static Storm. There is BKB available for Bryos. So he's going to disengage with the Rack of Souls as they do find a kill onto Dark Seer and the Witch Doctor. Can they stop Bryo? There's going to be a glimpse eventually, but the race is just zoning the entirety of Navi out as they cannot glimpse. Either of the J Storm heroes. Oh, you know, a wrap round. And uh, I don't even think they have a smoke on the side of J Storm. So there you go. It is time for them to start hitting that tower. And they do it so fast. They have the AC as well as the talent of uh, Necromaster in reducing armor. They will pop the orb right there. You go. That's a stun. Ogenic success. No time to pop his freaking spike. Carapace. He will get big glitch back. They will try and get the kill and they will get it. But a lot of commitment on the side of Navi. Look at that wall with the refresher. The double wall. As the Medusa is forced to be keeping the stone gazes there. Nice. Team Ultra for Rav. Mu is very. Very pleased with what he was able to achieve here. Double buybacks on the side of Navi as they keep on pushing the open wounds from downtown. They're gonna blink out with Crystallize. A lot of damage. Can he actually find a Witch Doctor? It looks like they will, but this is a dead, dead Ursa. Crystallize has no buyback as Sonico also gets taken down. This is looking like a very dire situation. The Master is here, says Mu, as they will find two. That's an Ultra Kill and the GG flies out. Navi's out of the tournament. Oh boy. All right, so you know this was this was looking kind of good.